Hello, St. Louis. Welcome to OnSTL.com. Today's segment is brought to you by VisorView. Never back up in your car again without seeing if anyone is behind you. VisorView is right here in St. Louis. Well, the first thing I have to ask is, where did we get this guy? Dr. D- <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Michael where did Lynch. Where come from? Uh, Michael Lynch is actually on uh, Glover's, Dave Glover's show on, uh, on 97.1 yeah. every uh, oh. Tuesday, I believe. Oh. Every Tuesday. <laughs> Over the past 12 years, uh, I've been on the Dave Glover show, and we've been doing a segment called Paranormal Tuesday. Paranormal oh. Tuesday. Okay. You're a paranormal uh, doctor? Is yeah. that what um, you are? Parano- okay. uh, doctor of uh, paranormal, doctor of parapsychology. Um, and how I got that was really just studying uh, everything from spirituality to the occult and then going on into the psychology realm of profiling consciousness, consciousness uh, that's outside the body. Now, Michael, you work with this thing, this invention called Paravision. Yes. Yes. And you've used it all over the country? Oh, yes. Absolutely. All over the world, I yes. suppose. Yes. Uh, I was on Scariest Places, uh, World Scariest Places television series. Uh, they drove us all over the country. I was in several of those episodes. I've been with uh, MTV Sphere. I've been with uh, Discovery Channel. And this you know, is a camera like that. that sees entities that yeah. we can't see. Right. right. We call them ghosts. Okay. We right. see, okay. like, if you go on a ghost tour, they're like, get your cameras out. You'll right. see these yeah. orbs and everything. Okay. Mm-hmm. But here's the question. You're, in, you're here in St. Louis. You've used it a lot in St. Louis. Is this a spooky town? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, the Exorcist uh, was done here, and there's so many things uh, surrounded The Exorcist. Uh, we can go down the list. Uh, like, we can say the, the Limp Mansion is incredibly haunted. Mm. The Limp Brewery Complex is mm-hmm. incredibly haunted. Um, the Fox Theater is, like, haunted. Um, Diminil Mansion is haunted, whether, yeah. you know, they really wanted to use it for uh, And you've documented purposes. this with the Paravision. Oh, yes, absolutely. Now, uh, have you done this? things have you in t- St. Charles, you know, St. Charles, okay. you know, in the suburbs of St. Louis is uh, and just as haunted. Alton. Alton. Oh, I've Big been to time. Alton several times. Yeah. I got a lecture in September in the Mineral Springs Hotel, which was one of the first yes. major investigations we did. We were there. We did that. Yes. Did, did the overnight thing? Oh, no, I didn't have to. Uh, I mean, our equipment. You know, okay, but have you done minutes. this? Have you taken the Paravision camera mm-hmm. to places that aren't haunted just to see what happened? Oh, yeah, absolutely. And yeah. there's a difference? Oh, absolutely. Okay. They're, if they're there, you'll see them. Okay. If they're not there, they're not there. Okay, what's the hot spot? The hot spot, the hottest, most haunted place in St. Louis. Uh, I would go with the number one pick uh, on that would be the uh, Limp Mansion. It is really? it is haunted probably more times than not. And it's haunted in the varieties of ways, like uh, EVPs and audio uh, type haunting, uh, m- objects moving. Yes. Um, uh, you can actually hear things like dishes breaking, people arguing uh, and wow. with your own ears. Wow. And, Isn't there and a fire a, department in the, in the it used to be a fire department yeah. in the central West End mm-hmm. where they see this woman all the time? Yeah. The, uh, you know, there, there you go again. Uh, when you start getting <laughs> into police, I mean, police and fire and yeah. public officials, they yeah. don't want to ever admit to this. But the situation is they do see these things on a recurrent basis. There's a cemetery up in Chicago where they see this uh, lady that wanders out of the cemetery. Terry will hitch a ride with somebody then just vanishes <laughs> and then she ends up back in the cemetery well, I was it's very ask similar. You. and we have a Bellefontaine cemetery oh, up here oh, oh, highly she was gonna ask you. Highly haunted. when they say that they can't hurt you you know oh, no no they can they, they can, can to a certain extent yeah. okay so yeah. the, they can hurt you through like moving objects and stuff or can they actually physically, physically, physically like strangle you to death yeah, yeah. they um, usually don't I know they do usually do not I mean this is like one in one one thousandth of a case that you actually are attacked in any case of the words but you're normally doing something to antagonize you're pissing off a the, ghost the entity basically yeah. and uh, through that antagonization or the demands of the entity then you become hurt i just interviewed a, a gentleman in uh, st petersburg uh, florida who was attacked uh you know by an entity the entity would come into the room and start making demands of him <laughs> and uh so when he was Get rid of the sinkhole man it's, it's like uh it's like you know kill your parents or whatever it's very similar to the oh, amityville horror oh, scenario and so the entity was trying to affect his mind in a certain way, and when the boy did not do it, he, he was attacked by the entity oh. until finally the entity just left. We, we have to say goodbye, Michael. I could We could do this for hours. I There's think so we many, should. We have to have you back. Oh, yes. absolutely. Anytime. In, in the meantime, we'll meet you on Paranormal Tuesdays with Dave Glover. Thank you, Michael. Thank you very much.